Okay, so today I'm going to talk about business in the Philippines, um, specifically uh, running a business as a foreigner in the Philippines or having a business in the Philippines. And let's say you go to the Philippines for whatever reason and you decide you like it there, you know, you fall in love with it, you want to live there, but you don't have the money, you don't have a pension or a uh, social security check coming in so one of the ways you could make money is through a business um, there's always YouTube of course there's a lot of expat channels but it's not really as easy as it may might seem to get a lot of subscribers and a lot of views you also have to open yourself up to the world, which you may not want to do. You, you know, show up your, your life and your family's life and everything, you know, you may not want to do that. So as far as running a business, I think most people use their spouse, they put the business in their spouse's name um, a common business, I would say one of the uh, most successful types of business th that a foreigner has or runs in the Philippines is a hotel. And in the resort areas, I've come across several foreigners who are running hotels. Now, it may be in their wife's or spouse's name but they're obviously the one running it. Now, if you run a business, you gotta be able, you know, you gotta know what you're doing, obviously. So, you might wanna do some research before you take on something that big. A hotel is, big investment I'm sure it's expensive to buy a, a hotel in, in one of the tourist spots usually that's where you'd want to own a hotel uh, my own story when I met my wife she already had a business she had uh, three tricycles and business was what brought us together what we had in common we both had an interest in, in business so it was something that we could talk about and we started our first business and it was a failure it was just like many uh, Filipinos they run a business out of the front of their house we tried something like that her house wasn't along the road it wasn't in a good location to do that so it failed um, then we bought uh, a store, or, or do we buy the van next? We bought a store and we bought a van, and we, we, we were learning. We, we had failures, but we didn't give up. You know, we learned along the way what worked and what didn't work. Uh, and if you're going to run a business and you're not going to be there, Maybe you're still going back and forth to the to your home country. You haven't moved there completely like myself. My own experience is my wife was running everything and I was financing it. Like I was putting up the capital to buy our store, to buy our van and things like that. But she was running everything. And luckily I met someone who's good at running business you may not have a spouse who's good at running a business. So that could be a problem. It, you might get a, a family member of your spouse, a Filipino, to run the business. If you open a sorry, sorry store or something like that. Um, but here's some problems you might encounter. Competition. 
if you open a sorry sorry store there's a lot of sorry sorry stores uh, sorry sorry stores like a little liquor store what we'd call them in my neighborhood in, in, in the US uh, just like uh, selling snacks and drinks and maybe some other things you could also have a problem with spoilage if you go that route if you open up a restaurant um, I've also seen some foreigners with restaurants uh, I, I ate at this restaurant run by a Middle Eastern guy or, or someone it was a like a Mediterranean food place so if you know how to cook and you, maybe you have a specialty like you're from you know Mediterranean food something like that uh, but you do have to worry about competition especially if you're not in a, in a tourist area like I said you know we, we, we had a store right across the street someone opened up another store and it, it gave us a lot of problems a lot of competition uh, and we, we closed down the store and we just started renting out renting it out until the pandemic and then we reopened it but um, competition is something you you got to worry about because Filipinos couldn't make less of a profit than a foreigner a foreigner might want uh, a, ge foreigners generally want a bigger profit than a Filipino who could get by on like ten dollars a day or something so you have to worry about that another thing is like one thing that worked for us was, was these tricycle taxis. You've been to the Philippines, you've seen the tricycles everywhere. Um, we started buying them and a problem that you could run into with a business in the Philippines is the government. They could screw you over. I stayed at an awesome hotel in Boracay in 2010 when I just started dating my wife and we had an awesome time there little hotel called Artista then uh, Duterte came in and he wanted to clean up Boracay well he only allowed certain hotels to operate they got screwed and it, it, it's sad you know uh, I like a lot of things that Duterte did but that wasn't one of them Boracay was not was it's not the same I wouldn't want to go to Boracay now so many rules and so much that you can't do it I guess it's for a certain type of upper class tourists now, but it, it just doesn't, uh, like no more jet skis, no more parasailing, all the fun things we did, sitting on a, on a chair, drinking a beer, you can't even do that anymore, you know? So yeah, you have to worry about the government coming along and screwing you over. Uh, that's what happened with our tricycles. Uh, after the pandemic, they, they put them on alternate days, and it's still that way to this day. Uh, they government comes along, passes some rules, some regulations, screws you. Uh, rental houses could be a good way to go, but the rent is not very high in the Philippines. You're like a hundred bucks a month, something like that. You know, so you got to get a lot of rental houses, or you know, even the tricycles. You got to get a lot of tricycles to to get the income that a foreigner wants you got to get a lot of these businesses I noticed that's you know, with my friend in Argentina he's the same thing he had a lot of different businesses to get his income to the level that a foreigner usually wants um, so you know probably you should know a little bit about running a business or have a spouse that knows about running a business or family member um, you should do some research and don't give up with you, you might fail in the beginning but keep trying and learn what works and what doesn't work uh, that's how we were successful and things were going good until the pandemic things aren't going as good now but we're still uh, trying to get to that point that's why I'm still a semi expat still working here in the US uh, to get to the point where I could have enough income to retire you know and 
make enough money to pay the bills and have money for doing fun things. So if you're going to open a business, you probably want to know how to run a business or have a spouse that's capable of running the business or this, your spouse, family member. Um, be careful of competition, be careful of the government. And uh, don't give up. Inside the store. That's our store. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is what our store looks like now. Get up. 